red dot to iron sights transition. All right, this is a little bit of a tricky one because there's a real learning curve to this. All right, how would this come about? Well, your optic died, your battery died, or you didn't have it bright enough for the ambient light conditions. You have it too dim on a bright day like this, all right? Or your mount broke, or the way it's attached broke, and now the, the red dots fell off the gun, and now I gotta go back to irons. Understand something. There's pistols out there that have a front dot only, or front sight only, I should say, because when you took the mounting plate or the cover plate off, you lost your iron sight, number one. Number two, there's iron sights behind the optic, and then also you have iron sights in front of the optic, meaning a rear sight behind the optic or a rear sight in front of the optic. So you need to be aware of all that. What's my personal approach in all this? You understand something, human nature on this thing is once you get used to running a red dot sight, that's what your primary focus is gonna be on. So if I come up and I don't see it, I'm gonna hunt around for it, right? And there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a pause there where like, where's the dot? Before it clicks to you, whoa, the dot's not there. It's too dim, battery's dead, something's wrong. The, the optic has died, and then you're gonna switch to the iron sights. Well, here's the good news. The good news is at typical handgun distances, especially if you're aiming center mass of the chest, you really don't have to have a rear sight. Honestly, you can put the front sight on the target and as long as you don't jerk the trigger, you'll get a hit, all right? Now, the theory behind it is let's have a front sight that I can see that's kind of an alternate front sight or an alternate sighting system to the red dot. So what I tell people is, some people say, well, I want a black front sight. Well, the problem is in limited or low light, it's invisible, all right? What I teach people to do is have something up there that's a different color than your red dot sight. So when you bring that red dot sight up, you may see that the front sight that's a different color in your bottom field of view, but your, your attention is still drawn to the red dot sight. What I don't wanna have is like a red dot sight and a red, red fiber optic front sight because now your brain's confused at what to look like, look at in a day like this. What I have is something green up here, or maybe something yellow, or even something white. I wanna have something up here that does not draw my attention or overrides the red dot sight, but is also something that jumps out at you. So if you come up and the red dot is not there for whatever reason, now I can reference the front sight and I pick it up fast. And remember, Try this when you get out on the range. Tape your rear sight to where you can't see it and just practice coming up at full extension and getting hit center mass out to 10 yards. You can absolutely do it. What you may see is the shot start to go high, which is common because people will elevate the front sight, but you can still get effective hits on target at typical handgun ranges, even with just a front sight. So my theory behind it is, obviously, when you have that pregnant pause where you're hunting for the dot, at some point you're gonna go, oh, the dot's not there. Switch to your iron sights. The rear sight's kind of optional. If you've got a visible rear sight, awesome. The real key is a front sight that you can see that's there as a backup, but does not compete with your ability to focus on your red dot when it's functioning properly. Hopefully you make some sense out of that. A lot of information in there. Feel free to rewind this chapter. It may be one of these things you gotta go out to the range and get some time on your red dot sight, get some time on your pistol. You know what? Have your buddy turn the dot off where you don't know when it's on or off. Come up and you go, oh, there's not the dot. You know, dot isn't there. Okay, let me use my iron sights. Throw yourself a curveball where I've got to back up to my iron sights and I gotta be able to get hits. Hey, I hope you learned something here. This is a learning process for all, the, all of us to understand I wasn't born knowing this stuff back in the day. I had to learn it along the way from instructors and my own time on the range. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you back here next time. LAVL.